By the early 1800s, pot making was well underway in Brampton and the Derbyshire district of England. Potteries had access to good transportation for their wares by road, the Chesterfield Canal, and the developing railway system. By 1840, this distribution network increased the market and sales of pots to America suddenly became easier and more profitable. Also at this time, the PEF Company became a major organization for gathering Latter-day Saint converts from abroad. By 1850, an estimated 100 working potters emigrated to America as members of the Mormon Church determined to open shops or find work in the pottery business. Potteries became an important symbol in the community. Children visited after school. Dances were held during the dramatic kiln firings, and everyone knew when new pots were up for sale. Given the emphasis LDS theology placed upon landed self-sufficiency, potteries became symbols of permanence through their association with agriculture and food storage. Thomas and Sarah Davenport were among those pioneers emigrating from Brampton. Anne Marie Knowles, curator at the Chesterfield Museum and Art Gallery, has been researching the Davenports in England and after considerable effort believes they lived in what is now called Brewery Yard. This community of laborers, cotton spinners, and other pottery workers was very near the site of the Welsh Pool and Payne's Potteries. Here, if not at these exact wheels, Thomas and Sarah learned pot making skills they would adapt as they began working with materials and climate found in frontier Utah. <music>